Welcome to Yoga Demix. Good job on appearing on the mat today. Try to follow this slow flow vinyasa class all the way through, as this will give you a full body stretch to support your self care routine. If you enjoyed this session, remember to like and subscribe for more. Practice safely and let's get right into it. We're starting in a seated pose, crossed legs. Maybe you sit on the pillow if you want to, taking your thumbs and pointers together. If you want to, you can also just stretch your legs in front of you if that is more comfortable to you. Close your eyes. And start breathing through the nose. Take a moment to land here on the mat and in this slow flow practice. Although the poses might be slow, there are some stronger ones in this practice and for that you might always decide to, to take a break, either in child's pose or whichever pose you would prefer as a break. Lengthen the breath through the nose and focus on how the air flows through your nostrils in and out. Focusing only on the here and now. Keeping your shoulders low, making sure there is no strain in your muscles throughout your body. Your face is soft. And if your eyes are open, just gaze in front of you, somewhere on the floor or on the mat. All right, we open up the eyes, place your hands next to your hips, and on an inhale, take both your hands up towards the ceiling, look up into your fingers. Take your right arm down, and then inhale here, and exhale, lean to your right. So feeling that stretch on the left side of your body. On the next inhale, take both your hands back up. Exhale, now stretch to your left. Breathing here. Exhale first. On the next inhale, take both your hands back up. And exhale, now twist to your right, placing your right hand behind you. And with your left hand, slightly pulling on your knee. Inhale, straight, straighten up. And exhale, try to get a little bit further into that twist. Gazing behind you. Next inhale, take both your hands back up and exhale, now twist to your left. Inhale, straighten up and exhale, get a little bit further into that twist. Next inhale, take both your hands up and exhale, hands in front of your chest. Shake out your wrists, rotate one 
after the other, one way and the other way. Shake them out again and let's get into a plank pose from here. So get into a plank, place your knees on the mat and come down. Straighten your feet on the mat and then on an inhale, press yourself slightly up into a cobra, keeping your shoulders low. On the exhale, come back down. Inhale, press yourself back up, cobra. Exhale, down. Be mindful about your spine. Inhale, up. Exhale, down. Now inhale, up, but look over your right shoulder. Exhale, down. Inhale, look over your left shoulder. Exhale, down. Inhale, look over your right shoulder again. Exhale, down. Inhale, left. And exhale, down. From here, tuck your toes into the mat. Press yourself up into a downward facing dog. First downward facing dog of this class. So start by pedaling out your feet, one by one. Bending one knee after the other. Pressing your hips towards the ceiling and pressing your chest bone towards your upper legs. Breathing through the nose. And at some point get to a standstill. Make sure that your feet are hip wide apart. You're pressing your hips up and your fingers are spread wide to the mat. Pushing yourself from your hands back. Maybe keep your knees a bit bent to give your spine some more space. Rolling your shoulders out. Inhale here. And exhale. And from here, walk your feet forwards between your hands. On the inhale, either place your hands on your shins or keep them down. Look up. And exhale, forward fold. Now from here, roll your spine up. Slowly but steadily, coming to a standing position. Let's start sun salutation A, but we're going through it slowly. Feet together, your heels might be a bit apart. Hands alongside your body, your knees activated and your shoulders low. On the inhale, take both your hands up, look into your thumbs. Exhale. Bend forward, forward fold, that's hanging low. Inhale, halfway lift on your shins or hands on the floor. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale here. And exhale. Another inhale. And now very slowly come down, either through your knees or through the full plank. All right, inhale here, and exhale. On the next inhale, push yourself forwards into an upward facing dog or cobra. If you're doing a cobra, legs on the mat or your knees touching the mat in an upward facing dog, keep them afloat above the mat. Your shoulders are low, your gaze is forwards, and your breath is steady and controlled. Inhale here, and exhale. On the next inhale, roll back over your feet and push yourself back into downward facing dog. We're staying here for five. One. Five long and steady breaths. Two. Breathe through your nose. 
three. Four. And five. Exhale first, then bend your knees and on the inhale, step or walk forwards, look up, halfway lift. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take both hands up, look into the thumbs. And exhale, Samas Titihi, standing position. Let's do that again, but Sun Salutation B, so a bit longer version of the Sun Salutation. Inhale, take both your hands up. Exhale, bend forwards, placing your hands down on your shins or on the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, step back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale. Inhale, and on the next exhale, slowly down either via your knees or the full plank. Inhale, roll forwards over your feet, feet, inhale here, and exhale. On the next inhale, push yourself back into downward facing dog. Exhale here. Take a breath in and a breath out. On the next inhale, step your right foot between your hands. Left foot comes flat, so roll your heel down. Exhale here. Inhale, take both your hands up, look into your thumbs. Warrior one. Exhale here. Inhale. Exhale, place your hands back on the mat, step back to plank. Inhale here, exhale. Inhale, and exhale, come down. Inhale, roll over your feet, cobra or upward facing dog. And then exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale here. And exhale. Next inhale, step your left foot between your hands. Right heel comes down to the mat. In the next inhale, take both your hands up, look into your thumbs. And exhale here. Keeping your shoulders low. Inhale. And exhale. Place your hands back on the mat. Step back to plank. Inhale here. Exhale, going well, inhale, and exhale, calm down to the mat, inhale, upward facing dog, and exhale, downward facing dog, staying here for five reps, one, two, Three, four, and five. Exhale first. On the inhale, step or walk your feet between your hands and look up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, take both your hands up. Look into the thumbs and exhale. Samasti Tihi. Alrighty. Take your hands on your hips. Step your feet about hip wide apart. Then inhale, straighten your chest up. And exhale, hinge from your hips forwards. Forward fold. Either grab your big toes with your uh, middle finger and your pointer or 
if you want to grab your opposite elbow. Inhale, halfway lift, wherever you are. And exhale, come into the pose. So either grabbing your big toes or your opposite elbow. Breathe. Breathing through your nose. Then let your hands go. Place your hands back on your hip. And on the next inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, feet together. We step straight back into a downward facing dog. And then from downward dog, we step our right foot between our hands, coming into a lunge. On the inhale, take both your hands up and exhale here. Inhale, now take your hands into cactus arms like this. Inhale here and exhale, pretend to grab a big ball. <laughs> inhale, come into cactus and exhale. Grab the ball. Inhale, cactus with a slight back bend. And exhale, grab the ball. Inhale here, take both your hands up. And exhale, place your hands next to your right foot. Try to keep your left leg straight and your right knee above your ankle, not over your ankle. On the inhale, take your right hand up and do a twisted lunge. Inhale here, and exhale. On the next inhale, let's get up into a warrior two position. So now your right arm is forward, gazing over your right middle finger, keeping your trunk in the middle and your shoulders low. Inhale here, and exhale. On the next inhale, left hand comes down, Right hand up for the reverse warrior. Inhale here. And exhale. Next inhale, come back up to warrior two. And take your hands, interlace them behind your back. Then inhale here, straighten up your chest, push your hands down. And exhale, come into the humble warrior. Placing your belly on top of your leg or just next to your leg. Inhale here, and exhale. On the next inhale, come back up to warrior two, and exhale, roll your hands forward, step back into plank, and either come into downward facing dog, or do the flow with me. Inhale here, and exhale, come down. Inhale, roll over your feet, upward facing dog. And exhale, push back, downward facing dog. All right, now step your left foot between your hands. And then we're doing the flow on the other side. Starting in a high lunge on the inhale, take both your hands up and exhale, cactus arms. Inhale here and exhale, Pretend you grab the ball. Inhale, cactus with a slight back bend. Exhale, grab that ball. Inhale, cactus arms. And exhale. Inhale here, cactus arms. And exhale, place your hands next to your foot. On the next inhale, twist your lunge and exhale here. Inhale and exhale. On the next inhale, come up into a warrior two. Flatten your right foot, gazing over your left middle finger. Inhale here and exhale. Now place your right hand onto your leg and gaze in your left hand. 
Inhale here. And exhale. Inhale, come back to warrior two. Interlace your fingers behind your back. Inhale here, straighten up your chest. And exhale, humble warrior. Inhale here. And exhale. On the next inhale, come back up to warrior two. And exhale. Come back to plank and either go straight to downward facing dog or flow with me again. Inhale, upward facing dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Everybody into child's pose. So feet together, knees apart, push yourself back, bulky hands forwards. And breathe. Make sure that you stay in child's pose for a couple breaths. Getting the heart rate to normalize again. And then from child's pose, push yourself back up onto hands and knees. And then we're going towards our restorative poses. So on an inhale, twist your right arm up to come in to thread the needle. So right arm under your left until your shoulder hits the mat. And either keep your hand here or walk it forward and stay here. Or place your hand in a half bind on your back. Now walk your left hand back next to your face. Press yourself back up, taking your right hand all the way up towards the sky. And exhale, place your right hand back. We'll do the same on the other side. So on the inhale, roll your left hand up and exhale, thread that needle. Walk your right hand back next to your face. Take your left hand up towards the sky. And exhale. Come back to hands and knees. All right. From here, we get into a laying position. So we lay on our backs. And we take both knees up towards our chest. Then let your right leg go. Take your left over towards the right. Your left arm is over towards the left. And you gaze over your left shoulder for a laying twist.
on the next inhale take your knees both back up towards your chest let your left leg go and now twist your right leg to the left gazing over your right hand Take both your knees back up towards your chest. Give it one last squeeze. And then let everything go. Feet falling out towards the side. Hand palms gazing out towards the sky. Take a deep inhale through the nose. And out the mouth. Let it go. It's time for Shavasana. So no need to do anything at all. There's nothing left to do except for relaxation, making sure that you give your body the time to process the poses that you just made. making it until the end of this slow vinyasa session. Take the time to stay in this savasana as long as you like, but at least a couple minutes. Comment below how you experienced this slow vinyasa session. And I hope to see you on the mat again soon. Have a great day. Ayus.